So, today we are going to discuss on nakshatras, your birth nakshatra, your moon nakshatra. No, <laughs> ascendant nakshatra, even not. Nakshatra of the ascendant lord, your lagnesh nakshatra, your lagna lord's nakshatra. Why is this nakshatra very important? Because we know the lagna lord is very important and nakshatras are very important. That's the reason, right? <laughs> Well, uh, of course, both are very important, but what we fail to understand is that there are total 10 nakshatras. Why 10? Because, of course, there are 27, and if you include Abhijit, then 28 nakshatras, but uh, at most, a person can have 10 nakshatras. Every, all the nine planets in different uh, nakshatras, and the ascendant, okay, the lagna itself, also can be in a different nakshatra. So 10 nakshatras. <laughs> but among the 10, the sun, moon, lagna and the lagnesh, wherever they are placed, you know, the, the nakshatra, these four nakshatras are very important. And I always see that people discuss a lot on lagna nakshatra and uh, the moon nakshatra, and not much on the nakshatra of the sun, but they do not discuss on the lagnesh nakshatra. Okay, so check where your Lagnesh is and check the Nakshatra that is in. And that will give you clues how your uh, how you tend to behave in life. See, you got to understand, the moon represents uh, your mind, okay? How do you view this world, okay? Uh, do you like the things, do you not like? And then what is Lagna Nakshatra? Lag Lagna Nakshatra is the story that eventually pans out in your life. But the nakshatra of the lagnesh tells you how how do you take things in a sense like whenever something happens, how do you take it in life? Okay. So for example, if there is a setback in your life, you lost your job. So then how do you how do you take it? You know, you you get you you come into panic or you, know, you uh, are calm and you look for another job or you start your own business or you get into depression or you uh, run into some scandal or you do some politics, some backbiting, you curse your parents, your spouse, your earlier boss or your government or what is it, okay? So this is something uh, which the Lagnesh Nakshatra deals with. Uh, the, the Nakshatra actually tells you how do you react to certain things? Because the Lagnesh deals with focus. So for example, if your Lagnesh is well placed, you will be focused in life. But are you focused on the right things? <laughs> and that's the funny thing because if the Lagnesh is badly placed, even then it can give you very good focus. But the only problem is the direction is not correct. So therefore, Whenever you are talking of focus, then you need to check your Lagnesh Nakshatra. Okay, so for example, if you are uh, Capricorn Ascendant and your Saturn is in uh, Leo in Uttar Falguni, for example, then you know Uttar Falguni is the Nakshatra of your Lagnesh. And the Nakshatra of the Lagnesh uh, can give you a lot of clues about... Um, how you might react to every event in your life, any event that happens in your life. Okay, so for example, in this case, as I said, you know, your Lagnesh is in Uttar Falguni. Now, Uttar Falguni is a nakshatra of negotiations. It is a nakshatra that deals with multiple perspectives, trying to bring people together, you know, trying to find uh, the middle way out, which is basically negotiating. And getting things done from other people. You know, and also helping people in general or getting help from people. So if your Lagnesh is in Uttar Falguni, for example, and uh, due to some bad dasha, you lose your job. So then what can happen is at a practical level, how are you dealing with this problem? You know, It might happen that you are trying to uh, find a job through some contact. Okay, or yeah, some friend Uttar Falguni is the nakshatra of Aryaman. He is the celestial friend. <laughs> so you are contacting your friend rather than going randomly and applying anywhere. Now, of course, you can say, you know, um, uh, 
half of the people in the world would like to apply through some reference and there's nothing wrong in it. But if you have Lagnesh in Uttar Falguni, you, you are like most likely to do something similar. And even uh, if your Lagnesh is in Uttar Falguni, even if you are uh, going into some job interview, then you'll be very concerned about how the negotiations are happening at the end. So, for example, you are very concerned or you may be very concerned with things like, okay, what is my total package? You know, how much is it? Uh, how much is the gross salary? How much is you know, insurance, how much is uh, tax, how much is like, yeah, like in Germany, there's, you know, pension insurance. What else is there? Health insurance, unemployment insurance, care insurance. So you're very concerned where your money is going uh, uh, and how are they negotiating? Is it a variable salary? Is it a fixed salary? Okay. So if you, if you are not, uh, if your Lagnesh is not in Uttar Falguni, then you may not uh, put too much emphasis on all this. But if your Lagnesh is there, then you are focusing there. Lagnesh is your focus. That's your focus. Okay, so, and sometimes, you know, uh, if, if you are a very big leader and your Lagnesh is in Uttar Falguni, then you may not do things directly. You may be very good at outsourcing. So here's a tip, you know, Lagnesh Uttar Falguni. Try to find somebody who can do your job. You know, as they say, uh, for a founder, it's very important that they fire themselves from as many roles as possible, right? Because the more you keep doing <coughs> the things that others can do, the more you are losing your time. So it's very important that you uh, make sure you keep control of your time because you can make more money always, but you can't make more time. That's the problem. No? And for example, you know, if your Lagna, Lagna Lord is in Swati Nakshatra, I have always seen these people. Any crisis that comes into their life, they are like looking for all things, you know, 10 directions. Like uh, if Lagnesh is in Swati, then if you lose your job, Suppose you are in IT, then you may not only search job in your field, you know, like you are in AI, in IT. So you will also look for jobs in cloud, in software development, front end, back end uh, development, web development, you know, cloud engineering, machine learning, everything. You will just, <laughs> because Swati is the wind, it's everywhere. And uh, Swati also represents, you know, Swa Ati, which is away from you. So you you might find another job in a territory or a domain which is different from yours. Or Swati people have to always get rid of their comfort zone. So if you have Lagnesh in Swati, you must get out of your comfort zone and you must search something somewhere else. Where there is no friend, no community, no contact, you know, nobody. You are all alone by yourself, right? So that's what Swati Nakshatra is, even if you see astronomically, of course. So therefore, if you have any substantial crisis in life and you are wondering what should you do, then you should see your Lagnesh Nakshatra. That will give you clues. So wherever your Lagnesh is, read more about that nakshatra and try to see in your particular situation how can you implement those traits and behaviors you know like some historic personalities related to that like arjuna for example he was a very good negotiator right so can you do some negotiation you know, to get out of that situation or maybe uh, you get help of somebody who is very good at negotiations okay so the more you do this, the more you will realize that you are able to plan your life properly and you are able to focus properly. Okay, so therefore, the Lagnesh Nakshatra is very important because it tells you how will you get solutions in life. Okay, so, uh, but again, that's not the only Nakshatra. You have the Moon Nakshatra, you have Lagna Nakshatra. 
then you have the sun nakshatra and then you have the lagnesh nakshatra so do the overall analysis and then figure out what is good for you in this particular situation otherwise uh, if you just see one nakshatra and you decide your future uh, not the best option okay so it's like the tool for crisis management the lagnesh nakshatra so use it properly learn it uh, make the best use of a bad bargain all right thank you so much for your patience if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and hit the thumbs up hit the bell icon so that you don't miss notifications and for consultations you can always go to my website down below in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him thank you